Having a web presence is becoming increasingly important in education today. And there are many different tools that you can use to create this classroom hub. And we're going to show you one of our favorites on this week's episode of ITV. Google has made a lot of changes to their site's application. These changes have made the user experience a lot easier. Now, in order to get started with creating your Google site, log into Google Drive. In the upper left hand corner, select New. Then scroll down and select More. Then select Google Sites. Now, keep in mind that every Google site you create is like any other file in Google Drive. So, once you've created your Google site, the first thing you do, that you'll want to do is go ahead and select the Untitled Site option in the upper left hand corner and give your site a name. After that, you can also give your site a logo by selecting the Add Logo button where you can upload an image or select an image from your Google Drive. Then you'll want to go ahead and select the Your Page title and give your page a title. Once you give your page a title, you can then change the image uh, that is behind the title of your page by selecting the Change Image uh, option and then you can once again either upload an image or select an image in uh, or from your Google, tr uh, your Google Drive. You can also select the header type to change the way that your, uh, your banner is actually displayed on your site. So as you can see, Google has made working with their sites very easy. And adding items is simple as well. You can insert items such as text, images, or even files that you have stored in your Google Drive. You can also add brand new pages or you can even change the theme of your site. There are two different ways that you can insert items onto your Google site. One way is to double click on the white area on your Google site and this will pull up an option to insert text or items like images or op, uh, items from your Google Drive. The other way to do that is to select the insert tab in the upper right hand corner and as you can see there are a lot of different options very similar to the easy access menu that we just showed you but you can insert a text box and all you need to do is select the text box option and then a text box will appear where you can add text and then add different formatting options once again you can also add images or upload options you can also embed items like YouTube video you can also add items fr right from your Google Drive like a Google Doc or a Google slide presentation if you want to add another page to your Google site, just go ahead and select the Pages tab in the upper right hand corner and then you can select the Add Page option. This will give you the option to go ahead and name your page and then that page will be added to your Google site. Google is also giving you the option to uh, add themes to your site. Then you can select from the different themes that are available. If you love using Google Calendar like I do, you also have the option to embed it right inside of your Google site. Now, once you've created your Google site, it's now time to share it with the world. Okay, or just your students and their parents. Once you are ready to share your Google site, you need to select Publish, and then give it a site location. As you can tell, once you give your Google site the site location, it was added to the end of your site's URL. So this will be the URL that you will be able to share with your students and their parents. And as you can see, there's a blue check to the right, meaning that that site location is available. Then you want to determine who can view your site. If you only want to make it viewable to your students, then you can select the option to only have it available to anyone inside of CMS. But if you want your parents to view the site or anyone else outside of CMS to view it, you would select anyone on the web. Once you select that option, you can then go ahead and select publish. Once you select the Publish button, your site will be viewable by sharing this website URL with all of your students and their parents. Remember to share your website URL with your school's webmaster so you can get that all-important globe next to your name on your school's faculty and staff page. Also, Google Sites is a great option for a school-wide hub where teachers can find more information about their school's testing plan, technology plan, or maybe even professional development. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check us out next week for another edition of IT Weekly.